Hi you guys, this is Nina back again. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll know when my next video is about to air. Follow me on Twitter at Love Radio 44132. And if you can, don't forget to donate. My cash app tag is money symbol Nina 44132. And without further delay, you guys, let's just get started. Uh, we have more breaking news uh, from Fort Hood. Let me pull, pull up this young man's um, picture. Um, this situation at Fort Hood is really starting to be really sketchy. Um, people are actually coming out demanding that Fort Hood um, um, needs an overhaul slash needs to be closed. So let's get in here and put this young man's story out. The story is courtesy of CNN. U.S. Army officials are asking for public's help in finding 23-year-old Fort Hood soldier missing since Monday, according to a statement they made. The 1st Cavalry Division is actively attempting to locate Sergeant Elder Fernandez, who has gone missing. missing. Their primary concern is for his health and well-being. And if you guys have been following this, I've made several videos about Fort Hood and the disappearing soldiers and the mysterious deaths. Fernandez is about 5 feet 4 inches tall and he weighs approximately 133 pounds, according to the Killeen Police Department, whom are put in charge of investigating his disappearance. Police said he was last seen wearing a black army physical training shirt and shorts with a red athletic shoes. According to police, Fernandez's family said the 23-year-old was last seen Monday afternoon by his staff sergeant when he was dropped off at his home in Killeen. This is very, very unusual, said Isabel Fernandez, the missing soldier's aunt. She last spoke with her nephew last Friday morning and said that he'd call his mother on Sunday. Fernandez promised to call again on Monday. Monday came and went. He didn't call. He didn't answer calls from anyone else. Tuesday, no calls. And then her and her sister ended up flying down there, and they still have not heard from him. She told the story to KTRK. According to Fort Hood, Fernandez is a chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear specialist assigned to the headquarters uh, 5, 553 Combat Sustainment Support Battalion, 1st Cavalry Division Sustainment Brigade. Finding him is a top priority for the division. They have completed multiple searches already, including using motor pools. Um, they've searched parking lots, buildings, and still they have not found him. There has been at least eight soldiers tied to Fort Hood, whom have died, um, some under very suspicious circumstances. Anyone who has seen Fernandez or know his whereabouts should contact the Killeen Police Department, Military Police at Fort Hood, or the Army's Criminal Investigation Command. As of right now, they do not suspect foul play in his in his disappearance. The Search and Recovery Organization, Texas EquiSearch, confirmed that they have now joined the search efforts for Fernandez. This story is very tragic. I hope that he is found, and I hope that he is okay. Here's a few of the here is a few of the incidents that's happened on this base um, this year, being the most high-profile specialist, Vanessa Gillum. 
the main suspect in her disappearance. Another foot Fort Hood soldier um, took his own life when he was confronted by investigators. In the wake of her tragedy, the Army announced an independent review board made up of five civilians who will review the command climate and culture at Fort Hood. Some other soldiers whom have um, passed under mysterious circumstances include Private Gregory Scott Morales, whose skeleton remains were found in a Killam Field in mid-June, ten months after he vanished. Fort Hood is saying in a statement right now that they do not suspect foul play. There was also another young man, another soldier, that made the news. Um, and I made a video about this young man. This is the Mayor case. And he was found passed away also. Here is his picture. If anyone has any information or have seen this soldier, please contact the police. Something is definitely uh, going down um, suspiciously at this base. Again, this is a picture of Sergeant Elder Fernandez. Hopefully he is found safe and sound. This entire base either needs to be shut down or thoroughly investigated, in my opinion. Too many things has been happening on this base in the last 12 months. So those are my thoughts. Like, share, and subscribe. I hope that this young man is found. And until the next time, you guys, be safe and enjoy your evening.